another Christmas series. Yay! So this series is from the pound shop. So let, let's see what the pound shop has in the magical Christmas wonderland. We have tried to pick out the kooky and the novelty items. Kooky. <laughs> kooky. Not cookie. Kooky. So, you want a chocolate cookie? <laughs> so, let's kick it off <laughs> with a mini Christmas tree. Christmas tree. Two Beautiful. feet tall. Yeah. Almost touching the camera. And the box is a bit knackered. <laughs> what do you expect? It's from the pen shop. <laughs> really? Why just wang it on the shelf? Really long barcode. How much did the Christmas tree cost? The Christmas tree costed two pounds. A pound a foot, I guess. <laughs> yeah, one pound per foot. Looks like someone's been into this. And it wasn't us. You know, it's funny, he says that. And it won't put it past me because we've been, was it, was it in B&M once? Or on Bergens? And there was, he was looking for a brush. Oh. And it, w it was already dirty. I started laughing my head off, and obviously he went, "Oh, that's disgusting!" And I turned around and said, "They probably actually used it on the floor, put it back in the box to sell, and if it doesn't get, if it doesn't sell, they'll probably just reuse it again <laughs> until it does." <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> right. Oh no! <laughs> it's already started. Cheap. Cheap. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Why? Do <laughs> Make sure we don't put this up on the first of December, because by the time it gets to Christmas, all the freaking fake leaf stuff will probably fall off it. No. You probably best putting it up a day before. <laughs> so I'll just unravel that while well, it's still falling to bits. <laughs> I just can't believe how how much that's just. <laughs> oh, I'm not even touching it. Oh no, I didn't do it that time. Yeah, when you're doing it, it just keeps dropping off it. Well, well, it's not that bad. It's better than the last one that I bought for a pound. <laughs> yeah, but was that one falling to bits already? No, that wasn't. Mm, I think I know which one wins it. There we go. That can be a nice decoration. Complete with pine needles <laughs> all over the scene. Right. Yeah, lovely. You can decorate it with two inch items. <laughs> the next product is Santa's workshop post box kit for all those kiddies out there. And the post box letter kit costs one pound. Bin, bin, obviously I know that's not bin, that's the post box. <laughs> and by the way, I've never been good with uh, crafts as you would call it. Uh, right, hey, we got it. And Not good with crafts, but you managed to do it. That's actually not 
bad, actually. There you go. <laughs> Uh, oh, play it in the way. Got Santa Claus, please stop here. Okay, if you ask me, are you gonna are you gonna give me some money? Stamps, aka stickers. You've got two thank yous. I'm guessing that's supposed to be um, where you write your Christmas list on. Yep. Then you have got. The naughty or nice report, because I'm presuming we're elves by the sounds of this. <laughs> and, you, and you've you've looked up someone and said he's nice, so he's naughty. And then uh, you've got the North Pole toy factory envelopes and something at the back. Oh, and there's another thank you. <laughs> now, if I send this to Father Christmas. Really, really make that come true. Hopefully. Oh, come on, Santa Claus. Come on, Santa Claus. And that's absolutely tacky. Hmm. And that's the way it's showing it on the actual thing. So it's like, that's funny because how the heck does that get in? Just have to bend it. So, yes, Santa Claus is going to get his. Um, Male Ben. It's quite lovely of you if you ask me that. <laughs> oh. Very joking. <laughs> well, that's actually not too bad. You just get the kids to write a list, put it in the envelope, and then struggle to put it inside the post box. And I forgot, I almost, I've, I've actually forgotten to put the stamp on the envelope. So Santa won't receive my letter. Oh. Never mind. I also need to stick that on the front. Of Santa's the all magical anyway. He should know by that point. Well, yeah, he'll come in like empty the post box. Next item. Window stickers. The window stickers costed one pound. If these are classed as paper window stickers, I think they are. Yeah. Warning, for use on glass only, use on any other surface will result in permanent staining. Do not use on windows where temperature exceeds 40 Celsius. What window is going to exceed that? This is a decoration and not a toy. Well, I'm not being funny, but where are you, where are you going to get 40 degrees Celsius in winter? And why would anyone think this is actually a toy? Yay, let's go and stick that on mummy and daddy's face. Oh. Oh. Oh no. These are possibly the worst window stickers ever. Uh where are we? There we go. Yeah, look. They've not they've not even got any stickiness or anything. Yeah, you, you can see they're shiny. Now I work in a convenience shop and every time when anyone sends free point of sale to stick on the window, it's made of this cheap rubbish. I would not recommend buying this straight away because you stick these on your window and within half an hour it's on your floor. It's not too bad. Well it's not too bad right now but it, then it does start to peel off. But it's like you said it sticks but it only lasts half an hour but we'll see about that let you know if it does or doesn't. Preferably to me it just seems, I mean maybe because it's that plasticky stuff I would probably put a bit of water on it. That's what they usually do say, only a mild bit, and it usually gives it that extra stick. But it's like my mate just said, when it's falling off, that what I'm presuming is drying up and it's not got that stick anymore, it falls off. But yeah, I'm not too sure if I can recommend this to anybody, because, yeah, they're not that great. Oh, for our next product, is something my friend really likes. Pom pom gunks, make for pom pom decorations. This costed three pounds. By Crayola. It's free. Do kids around? I highly doubt that. And it does say we'll be needing scissors. Yeah. 
Arguably. I think for this bit. Oh, I hate you were going to say. Right, so you got. So before you start, make sure you have a clean, flat surface to work on. Well, it's not exactly clean, it's got bits of pine, whatever this is supposed to be. Choose two matching gonk cord templates and place them back to back. Right, so it's literally got the force, it's got whatever that is, two greens, it's got two red heart ones, and then two all nightcap hats, blue ones. That'll be me. And uh, you got the green. So put them back to back. Right. Choose one of the colours of the wool. Ask an adult to help you cut 10 centimetres from the length of the wool. Put this to one side. Right, what colour wool do you want? Uh, you've got white, red, you've got white. brown, you've got red, and you've got green. But you'll be definitely green because it'll colour code it, and I don't like when nothing's colour coded. Right, so. Uh, white, ask, white, an, white. ask an adult to help cut the wool. Adult, can you please cut the wool? Right. Okay, son. Daddy! Right, you need 10 centimetres. Where's the end of this? By the way, this feels really cheap. If it likes to focus. How long is 10 centimetres? Why does it have to be specific 10 centimetres? Yeah, it's not wanting to focus. Yeah, no. But yeah, it just... I'd say uh, that's, and feels really that's cheap. around 10 centimetres. I don't know. I don't really care. Let's just do it. Yep. And nice. set it to one side. Whoop. 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 And then it says, wrap the remaining wool round and round the inner circle shown in figure one. Why? I don't get it. Figure one. What is that? Is that figure one or figure three? I don't understand. What the? And what, what what figure is this? Is this figure three as well? We've got figure three here and figure three here. If this is confusing to us kids, we've got no chance, that's for sure. Crayola, sort your life out. <laughs> what, what is this? And what is this? What? And what? Meh. And I don't even know what the heck they're doing there. What is, what is even that? Looks like a bauble. I don't. My, mine doesn't look like that. Ah, oh, I'm confused already. And this is me following instructions. Wrap the remaining wool round and round the inner circle. Round and round what? There you go. Oh man, that is confusing. So does it actually mean cut that bit off? Then you just use this rest of it because that's weird. Why you would do that? You know what? I've not got a clue. Yeah, I'm gonna say kids probably don't have a chance because I'm looking at it, I'm thinking like, pardon. I don't even know what that's supposed to be. I'm guessing you have to wrap it around like this. Keep wrapping it around. Is that the right thing to do? No, because it's it's forming it's forming a, a like some sort of bubble or whatever in in the in the middle. But how would you do that? Somehow you'd have to like be wrapping it like that. But it won't be falling to bits but it wouldn't be possible well straight away from me to fail right i'm going to assume that i'm doing this right but i don't mean to be like thingy but this is going to take forever how much blooming string is there i'll probably have to speed this part of the video up I'm just doing whatever because I don't even have a clue, me. Are you supposed to do it like that? <laughs> I don't know. Because the way I'm doing it seems a lot... Oh. What? Well, I've just learned something. I feel like a complete prat. So you're saying I was doing it right without even knowing? Yeah. <laughs> I was threading it through the hole when I could have just done that. Ah. No, I didn't have a clue. I was just, that's, I was just doing that. <laughs> well, that seems a whole lot easier. Oh, I can't see it, that it's going to really work. By the way, this is two fully grown adults doing this and already mine's just looking like a mess. Because the problem here that I see is on these pointy bits at the top, 
It's just sliding down and you can't really yeah. get the wall to stay. It's just like sliding down and bunching together. Well, you'll see it from us first that this is going to be a fail. So sorry, Mr. Gonk, you won't be, you won't be looking very good. You'll just look like a complete mess. Oh, the string's lame and it's getting stuck. No, I did it! Crayola, I don't know what you're supposed to be doing here. Yeah, I don't get it. I quit. <clears throat> Not terrible instructions. That to that. I think that looks better though, because it, it, it it's not with weird instructions. It's done by the heart. <laughs> Mine just has a knot in it. <laughs> so I am not dealing with whatever that's supposed to be, and whatever this is supposed to be, because that just looks a complete mess. Let's see. Once you have wound all the wool around the template, well, sort of, slide. So I'm moving on to the wrong one. Ask an adult to help cut the wool along the edge of the circle shown in figure two. That would be figure one. Crayola, I just. I, they, those instructions are just bad. I'm guessing it means do this. Which I'm probably going to regret. Does it mean do this? It actually could do, yeah. Because that's what it's showing there, isn't it? Well, I don't know, because all the figures are all mixed up. But that's... Oh, yeah, you've got to wrap it round. I think I've sussed it out now. Yeah, slip it through. Wrap it round, wrap it round, wrap it round, wrap it round. And then what you do is cut it. <clears throat> then what it'll do is it'll take all them edges off, what I've wrapped round it, and turn it into, like, that bobble thing there. With hopefully enough support, it'll stay in the middle and then look like them. Well, hopefully. Well, that looks nothing. Where did my 10 centimetre? Where did my 10 centimetre string go? I'm <laughs> probably in it. <laughs> Take the 10 centimetre wool. Well, I don't know where that's gone. Slide it between the two cord and tie a knot. Yeah, mine had already knotted ages ago, so I gave up me. I've been like spending more time trying to pull it loose than doing it. Um, just don't ask because I don't know what that is supposed to be. That does not look like that. At least it's better than that. It's supposed to look like that. Why does it look like that? So yeah, this is a bit of a a fail. It looks more like a Halloween type thing. <laughs> but yeah, very, very bad. That's an off on me. That also is probably an off on me. Because the problem is... When you start wrapping it around this part, it just either slides down here or slides down there. And then you end up with whatever that's supposed to be. And I didn't even finish that. The finished gongs can be hung as decorations. Mm. With 20 foot long ribbon. Isn't it beautiful? It's like a child made it. Well that can be the first decoration to go on our tree. And look, now it's devalued the tree. The tree's now worth 50p. I must say, what a load of rubbish that item was. Yeah. Not worth it, I know. For £3, that's pretty dismal. Na 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 na. Inflatable Rudolph. Inflatable Red Nosed Reindeer. There was also an inflatable Santa and an inflatable Snowman. And I chose Rudolph because it looks funny. Inflatable Rudolph was one pound. Why is it pink? I'm guessing it must be uh, a female um, Rudolph. Female Dolph. Keep away from fire. Obviously. <coughs> Creamy beigey brown. Really? Well, you're right. You know what this actually looks like? <laughs> it's an inflatable like, pig. <laughs> you know what this actually looks like? Like he's gone on holiday, but summer because he's sick of snow and he's overcooked. <laughs> and now he's pink instead of actually brown. 
What? What? What is even this? Now I'm going to lose my lung capacity to blooming. He <laughs> can't even blow it up, he's laughing that much. <laughs> It's slowly getting there, people. I'm talking about the pink ranger, by the way. <laughs> but its legs don't want to blow up. It, it looks a bit limp. <laughs> what? <laughs> Seriously, what, what is that supposed to be? That looks nothing like the photo. This, this what? And the thing is, is it this leg? One of these legs doesn't even blow up. <laughs> That's why I said limp. Where's my san uh, suntan lotion, Santa? I don't know. I'm too pink, you know. <laughs> oh, I've fallen over. I'm not drunk. Um. No! Well, well look. There must be a hole in it somewhere, because... <laughs> <It'll> <laughs> it's a turkey! <laughs> Undercut turkey. <laughs> it's even got. <laughs> what is this supposed to be? Oh my god. That, that... <laughs> <laughs> Why is its horns facing backwards instead of upwards? Yeah, people, don't even bother getting this, it's just... Rubbish. Useless. I, ma I managed to blow it up a bit more. Not to sell. Completely different colour with the skin and the horns. The horns actually stick up like that on this one. And this one's a funny one because this one has pig hoofs. This, 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 this doesn't. And then it has a little baby dog tail. This one doesn't. It has a white one, what's just strange and pointy, so... For, for, for me, I say no. It's just an inflatable pig. <laughs> With horns and a collar. Yeah, that's... That is not the same as this. Yeah, I can't look at the feet, they're making me laugh. Pig hooves. Yeah, pig hooves. Oh. In the bin. You can bloody go off it there. <laughs> That was just rubbish. Pound shop, you're not doing well for yourself, are you? Oh, goody. What have we got next? Candy cane balloon. No healing required. Includes straw. Straw. Hmm. This costed one pound as well. Will it be as worse? As inflatable. Well, we can't even call it Rudolph. Inflatable piggy. Yeah, yeah. I don't, Santa doesn't have reindeers anymore. He just has pigs flying through the air. Hey, yeah, that, that it's like that. Um, when you say when pigs fly, Santa does have flying pigs. <laughs> so when you see that, then you know. <laughs> huh? Piggy Rudolph's just chilling in clothes. <laughs> then what the heck is that meant to be? I've got pine on me. Right, how do you get this in here now? Oh, it's that self um, closing balloon of that. Oh, I've seen the little bit there. <laughs> <laughs> Not to self keep hold of it when you're blowing it, Jesus Christ. Yeah, not to self, I have asthma, but I have very good lungs. Well, I actually don't think that's actually half bad. How much was it? One pound. Wow. Better than pink Rudolph. Yeah, so if you was going for a balloon, I'd get this one. It's not half bad. And then you can just attach this to... Well, there's two there. You could have put it on the end. 
she could do that it hanging up more like that unless you can put one on there yeah it? i think you can like hang it up like oh there's another con that's there's multiple connection points you can connect one here here and here and here so you can actually hang it up like this that's actually quite a nice product actually that's good for hanging up yeah i don't think that's half bad cheap easy to blow up you don't need helium it just blows up you get the straw rib here and yeah you get the string plenty of it so if you're getting a balloon from there go for that one instead don't go for pink piggy hoofs <laughs> Maltesers and friends this is a selection box you don't see so the selection box costed £1.25 but what do you get in it? Probably what's on the front. <laughs> well, let's see. let's see. So you get a Twix, a bag of Maltesers, a Mars bar, and a Milky Way. <laughs> For one pound twenty, people. Great. Wow. That is tiny. Holy moly. These two alone are almost like you would get in celebrations or whichever one it is. They're literally just probably, what, a fraction by your phone? What happened to getting like full size things? That is ridiculous. If there's any older people watching us, you'll actually know that back in the old days it used to be bigger chocolate bars for less money. Now it's actually more money and smaller bars. Ridiculous. That is not worth £1.25. Because um, these have got to be worth about 10p. That's what I think of them. Dip off. <laughs> so that's a no go. But the L pound land, you only got one item that's any good so far. For the next item, it is a Santa's garden lamp. You got anything on there? Or is it just thingy? But I'm hoping you're going to point out the weirdness of that product. We have severed Santa's head on a stick. <laughs> well, actually, Help me. no, we, we have a Santa severed head on a candy cane. Oh, yeah, candy cane. Help me! Yeah, actually, you're supposed to be reviewing this, and I'm just taking over. I couldn't help it. I'll, I'll use it as a bat to in head with. Um, how much did that actually cost? That is actually pretty cool because when you actually like keep it, you can see it light up. £1.50. And it's going, as I'm doing that, it's going dark. Yeah, if you put your hand. I don't know if you can actually see that. No, it's not doing it now. You were doing it before when you did it. But yeah, there, can oh, you yeah. see it? Yeah, you can see it coming. Right, you can tell it's clearly got no light coming through. And there we go. You just saw it light up. So I don't know why it's doing that. I think maybe once the light hits the um, solar panel, it'll turn off. And then when it goes dark, it'll automatically turn on, meaning it'll save the batteries. Oh, yeah, because right there, now the light's touching it. Our lights are coming down, so as soon as I'm turning it, it's not hitting, it's just lighting up like it's classed as dark. Ah, yeah, makes sense. Yeah, that light is somewhere down there. It's fine, we've got your side anyway. Yeah, there you can actually see it now. Even better. It's actually quite bright enough. Yeah, I think that's a good one for pound land as well. Well, if you have a garden, we don't. We just did it for people who have a garden. <laughs> the only bad thing about this is there's not on and off switch. So to keep it permanently off, you'd have to always have a light source hitting it. Next item. I'll review this one because he just reviewed mine near enough now, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is not Christmas themed, but this was something that I bought for myself, but I thought I'd review it to see the quality of it. But this is a Disney wristband for the Apple Watch. I didn't actually... I actually bought this and actually didn't even read what Apple Watch it was for. <laughs> but it actually does fit my Apple Watch because my Apple Watch is the Apple Watch 6. And it's a 44mm. And it says it's not suitable for children under the age of 13. 
But yeah, there's lots of different designs. There's Pluto, there's Minnie Mouse. I think there's Goofy. Yeah, Donald Duck. This costed four pounds, which I think is actually quite good for. Is it an actual registered Disney product? It's an official Disney product, yes. And this was from Poundland, so that's quite shocking. But nowadays, it's not Poundland, it's every kind of pound land. <laughs> Cheap quality or? It feels alright, you know. My Apple Watch is actually just behind your ball. I can actually try it. The timber. Oopsie. Thank you. Yeah, because when you feel that, it's like proper rubbery, but this feels really smooth, like it's got talcum powder on it or something strange. But that's even on the other side. Oh. <clears throat> it's not as long as the um, strap that came with it. Now the smaller bit goes at the top. I'm probably going to end up blocking this watch because I keep pressing the recording on. I know I can't wait to get mine put on. I've got the eight red with a spidge and um, strap and i got um, a case what makes it look like the Ultra. Even though funny enough I don't actually like the look of the Ultra. Um, just checking if that's locked in correctly. Oh, that's quite nice actually. I still would have preferred if the white was black and then the black is, but they're trying to get Mickey Mouse's obviously blacker parts and like his ears and nose. But you've got bits of red so it goes well with the strap with the oh, black yeah. screen. So I don't think it's half bad actually. Yeah, I don't think it's half bad at all. Yeah, that's okay. It'll replace this for now. I've never been a fan of um, this one. But yeah, it feels nice and soft. But yeah, I think that's worth the money. Yeah. That was a nice product. Next item. Window stickers. AK again. But they do look slightly better. Now this window sticker also costed one pound. AK says the same as my mate Lee just said. Can exceed uh, 40 Celsius. 120 Fahrenheit. Okie dokie. Well, he'll have something to say about that. Really? <laughs> well, that's, that was brilliant. <laughs> Do you know that boy that's there? After the opinion. Yeah, I know. It's going back down again. Go on. Bugger off. Oh, great. Not, not that side of it, I'm just saying. Oh, no, thank God. Just to let you know, I hate glitter. I cannot stand the stuff. Ben. There is actually glitter on there. Yeah, you, you, you'll be dealing that with that then if it comes off. I can't stand glitter. Now, I've had these before in the past, but these are actually different. Because they used to be in squares, and the whole square used to peel off. This time, they've actually cut around the snowflake. They're not cheaping out anymore. Now, oh. I know, now I know I said before that those are the ones with bad because they're not sticky but these ones because they've got a bit of like ridges, rigidness to them and again that one's still stuck to the window so mm, these might be a bit higher quality than the ones that I've dealt with before but these actually do stick to the window pretty well so for a pound and plus when you put them on the window you're no longer going to have a big ugly square with a design you're actually going to have it cut out so I think that's actually quite good this time and yeah you get 18 and yeah there's just those things sticking everywhere but yeah I think those are quite worth it those are really nice yeah yeah but for your little girls frozen and all that stuff and for the next non-edible item we have string lights 20 multicolored this has a two meter cable battery operated and indoor use. I thought we'd decorate our little Christmas tree over there with them. So let's see. Oh, well, I might as well try and open them the right way around. Um, how much did these cost? These cost one pound. And are you kidding? What is this supposed to be? Companies, why do you do this? Why do you put a screw here? Because people like me and my mates do have <coughs> screwdrivers 
this small, but they are inside the toolbox. And when you are trying to do a video, you have not got time to do such things. Or try this at home. Anybody. There we go. Good, isn't he? <coughs> yeah. They're actually quite bright. Yeah, they're actually quite good for a pound if you're just putting them on something small. Like our Christmas tree. Yeah. Yeah, that's quite nice. Festive. By the way, in our next video, I am going to decorate the scene. But yeah, that's quite nice for a pound. Pain. Even though I had to do some destruction to get the batteries in. Because I could not be walking. I can't. Because he's could... never prepared. And I couldn't be bothered walking two feet over that way to get a screwdriver. Edible items. Harry Balls, awesome, and I really don't know what that word says. This is why I gave it to him. <laughs> oh, yeah, thanks, make me look stupid. Awesome. Axolotlotlotlotlotlotlotlotlotlotlotlotlotlotlotlotlotlotlotlotlotlotlotlotlotlotlotlotlotlotlotlotlotlotlotlotlotlotlotlotlotlotlotlotlotlotlotlotlot
Actually, we're probably better trying a different one then, if that's the case. I'll do it. There's a green, yeah, red, a, a, a green and orange. And there's a green and red? Oh no. No, it's orange. Where's the green and red one? It wasn't. There's this yellow one that I've got. Oh, there's a yellow. Have you got the yellow and red one? Yeah. Yeah, not so at all. Well, you, you only get three different ones. Yeah, there's I, I don't check, there's nothing, there's no, not so I there's not, no taste to it at all. Well, Trolley's actually known for not having much taste of the sweets, but it's more of a mild sour. I think there's supposed to be a green and red one, but I can't see the green and red one anyway. But yeah, I don't, I don't think it matters which colour you actually get. They're all the same flavour. It's just the colours that are different. No, <coughs> that's what I bought. It's, there's no difference in them. There's just a, it's just a colour with them. Well, then, they're all right. All right. Yeah. I can see why they're in demand, because, as I say, Trolley is... A well known brand, and it's not really. They don't really bring things like that at this out. For our next product, we have Erry Balls Twin Snakes. One side is sweet, one side is sour. I chose this because I actually thought it was quite funky, actually. This cost you £1.25. You have apple and lemon, black currant. No, blackberry and black currant and cherry and orange. If I can get it close enough. There you go. You've got three different snakes to choose from. So, uh, oh, look at the way they are. I thought it was going to be back to back side and, you know, like just on one snake, but it's not. That is wicked. So straight away it's worth it because you're getting more sweet for your price. Right, so what was there again? That was the yellow and green, so you need a red and blue, don't you? Jeez, they're all moulded together, that's why I can't stand these sorts of things. And then you need to drop them all over the table. Yeah. <laughs> and then one of them, there you go. I wonder which one's the sweet side and which one's the sour side. And I'll be staying away from the orange because I can't stand that. So, what is it, that one? So I'll try this one first then. Snicky, snicky. I'm going to rip my teeth on. Mm -hmm. Are you supposed to pull these apart? No, because you will up. They're meant to be stuck together. Oh my god, if you actually use like lick it and it gets wet and then you put it in the light it looks per pearlescent or whatever you call it word inside oh yeah that is head trippy uh, what kind of thing i'm eating <laughs> but trust me like, there's a little bit, bit, bit more sourness than that but it's still not sour my mum's given me some stuff in the past which nearly blew my face off what flavor is this one um blackberry and blackcurrant i bit its head off now because you're eating them both at the same time you can't figure out which one's sweet and which one's sour Black currant is a sour one, the red one, and the blueberry, that's obviously blue, is a, a sweet side. Hmm. And the other one, it was the yellow that was lemon that was sour, and the sweet was apple. What I find bad, because it would have been better if the, if that, if the, if the lemon was already sweet, because it's already sour, and I like sour apple. So that would have been more better if they'd done it that way, but... And I've got the orange one and... Cherry. Mm. Nothing's really sour there. That's, that's the end of the products. So, Poundland. Christmas special. Num part number one. Here's the receipt of all the items. So, Poundland didn't start off really strong. We had the Christmas tree. We had... I don't even want to figure out what the heck that was supposed to be. But nevertheless, that will live on our Christmas tree. And then... Do we mean, need to be reminded of this abomination? I mean, still, we're just confused. Did I get a defective one? Probably. And then again, I've even noticed, what the heck's that? It just, there's just something not quite right here. And the same with its tail, it's, it's not really in the shape of a reindeer. It's in the shape of a goat or a pig. I don't know. We just need to just quit that subject. And obviously, we had all of our food items. But, I think, as I say, Poundland um, started off weak. 
But that's the end of it. Things like this was actually quite nice. So. Well, the light wasn't too bad either. Yeah, this light. Yes. Oh, I'm gonna caught. Whoa. Timber. Whoa. He's trying to hit me with it. And we can't forget about this. Hmm. Now this would have been alright if the postcards actually fit in the box properly. Well I suppose you could modify it so it would fit in. You'd probably have to bend that eye up, but then the problem is then you're gonna rip it. Yeah. So and then yeah, oh they fell out, Santa will never see them again. <laughs> but yeah, this was worth it, the lights. Christmas tree isn't half bad apart from the pines falling off, but what do you expect for cheap? Uh the yeah, the gonk things were stupid. I wouldn't bother with them and I wouldn't bother with um, pink deer and uh, pig face. So and I wouldn't bother with these dinky little pieces of whatever they're supposed to be. The sweets ain't really my forte, so for me it would be a no, but for the quality of them, if you wanted to buy them, I'd say yes. And that's all, folks. So, yes. There will be more in this series. We have got a few more items to review. Um, the next... The next video will be Christmas gift ideas and not as much as decorations like this. It's going to be gifts. So as always folks, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, share and comment. Have a great day. See you later. Bye.